Let's go, let's start our conversation. This is nothing more than sharing ideas, sharing experience, and try to inspire people from all over the world in order that you can do uh, your next step in the climbing of your ladder, the ladder of success, the ladder of, uh, of yourself, your personal ladder. And here we have the beautiful Anna Cerdeira. Bon dia, Anna. Thank you. <laughs> it's interesting because we don't, we never met uh, in person. No. We just yeah, know each yeah. other uh, for a camera and we are being quite uh, in a constant uh, contact uh, due to the lessons, due to the teacher's training. So it's quite interesting to have now a conversation live where we can meet a little bit more. So tell us about you. Who is Anna Cerdeira? Where are you living? Where are you from? why you are living where you are, what happened, what is your main job. So talk us a little bit about you, we want to know. So I'm from Lisbon, Portugal, of course. <laughs> so um, my background, it's all about sports. Um, I have a master's degree in physical education. And it was a point in my life that uh, I was working like a freelancer in gyms, basically, because the schools were very hard. Um, so I, I said, okay, halas, finish. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm just, I was doing a lot of gyms in the same day. So I was always traveling one side to the other. So it was, it, it shows, a, um, an offer, a job offer in the internet for UAE, for the Dubai. So I applied, I did the interviews in Oporto that time. And I passed the interviews and I said, okay, I'm going to try for six months. And now, five years already, I'm here. My God. <laughs> but you are alone? You are alone? Yeah, yeah, I came alone, yes. Uh, so I tried for six months and I said, okay, uh, six months is, is nice. Then uh, I, I, I came for fitness first. It's a big uh, company for fitness. Mm -hmm. um, I was there like a GX manager. Uh, then I quit um, and I applied for a school. So now my main job is physical education, the thing that I could not have in Portugal. And after school, I'm in the gyms. So I'm still doing what I like. It's teaching kids and at the same time adults. And the fitness, it's my passion. So. Beautiful, beautiful. But uh, um, how can I say that? But, but you are teaching in English, I imagine. Yes, yes, everything, yeah. English. Did you learn Arabic? Shwaya, uh, shwaya. I imagine a little bit. It's a little bit, yes, yes. Okay, but uh, so most of the people there talk uh, talk in English. You are teaching to locals, or it's like the the child, the children of the the workers that are from abroad also. Uh, mainly, it's ninety percent of locals, and then we have the expats' children. Um, the, 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 the kids of the teachers, but mainly it's locals. In the gyms, you can see expats, of course, and um, mainly uh, locals. If you see okay. the, all the, the package, it's mainly how, locals. How is the life there? Are you enjoying? Do you feel, uh, do you miss something specific from Portugal or uh, the, the economical situation overpass completely? Uh, what what you have there as an offer? Yes, uh, sometimes you feel down. Of course, you are blue because you are missing the food, the friends, the parents, everything, especially the weather. <laughs> but uh, yes, there are good things that I don't have. It's impossible uh, to have in Portugal. So here it's it's easier because of the situation and uh, the job. The job is. I have my my dream job here. And in Portugal, it's impossible for me to, to teach in a school and at the same time in a gym. It's impossible. So here I can connect the both. So I'm happy. Beautiful, beautiful. So you are one of that lucky persons that do what you love. Yes, yes. That's, that's so good. That's so good. I feel very happy for you. Um, and you. I, I, I'm very curious because, of course, five years there, you already create a community of friends and you have for sure you are well established there um, and you you start a new life there. How, how is this process of uh, arrive to a country and at least here we have this idea that 
in Arabic countries, the women position, it's, it's not so easy uh, as it maybe can be in Europe, but maybe this is a stereotype. Maybe it's something that is not so much like this or because as you are in a big center, it doesn't happen like that. How is this adventure of arriving to a new country as a woman that it is in a country that I imagine that there are big difference between genders and to, to conquer your place? Yes, uh, when, when I came here, everyone was saying, oh my God, you are going there and ah, okay. But it's completely different, especially if you are in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, the main centers, uh, you can see everyone in shorts, it, normal clothes. But okay. if you go to Sharjah, to other Emirates, they are more closed. Okay, you need to pay attention and you cannot uh, um, show your shoulders. You cannot use uh, short skirts or, or um, shorts. So you just need to be a little careful where you are going, because if you go to a hotel or, you know, a touristic place, you can do your normal things. Um, you just need to be careful, especially in this uh, center, just the affection. For example, you are a couple, you need to be aware that th some things that you do in Portugal, like kiss each other, you cannot do that in front of the others. You can give the hand, but just in some places, but the rest is it's normal. It's just a question of adaptation to the to the culture. You need to study, I imagine, what are the rules and what you can do and what you cannot do. Did you have support for that or it was uh, personal research? No, no. When we come, uh, the, the company, in that case, it was Fitness First, they do uh, um, like a meeting the, to, for us to be aware what we can and we cannot do. So, uh, so we are aware what we can and we cannot. <laughs> yeah, we we didn't met in person yet, uh, but how did you find us? So uh, I was searching for a training for Kizomba training online. Um, and I was scrolling in the Facebook and I saw Bruno and Katarina um, presenting a class, salsa and mm -hmm. everything. And I joined. After that, I, I share with them, um, I, sh I share with my friends from Salsa and Bachata because I was attending some classes here. I share with them because, because of this situation, the COVID, no one was uh, having classes. So it's a way for you yeah. to dance at home. And because I was searching for these trainings, um, suddenly it shows your, your training. Um, and I was, uh, it was in the right moment because I was searching and I was choosing uh, to do one in English. I was decided oh. to do that and then I saw yours and I said okay it's Portuguese it's made in Portugal so let's go let's go for it so <laughs> I immediately sign up and I register and I did it yeah ah, good good so nice. you have as a profession to teach but have you ever teach Kizomba before what is your connection to Kizomba you met it here in Portugal you want to 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 bring to the Abu Dhabi uh, how, how is this process here so I, I've learned um, Kizomba when I was a child. We had some neighbors, they were from Angola. So we okay. start dancing because they were doing these gatherings at home. So since then, I was with that music in my, in my head. After that, I went to the university. It was very far away from, my, my, from Lisbon. It was in the interior. So I, I left, I stopped completely, but I always, uh, was always listening to Kizomba. And then I came here and I said, okay, I, I entered to the salsa classes in bachata. I love that. And a lot of uh, ladies, they were saying, we need to have Kizomba. We need to have Kizomba. But nobody here uh, can teach Kizomba. Only in the main centers, uh, in the center of Abu Dhabi and Dubai. It's very far from our city. It's more or less one hour and 30. So I decided, okay, I will, I will try to take the training because it's something that I love, even if I'm not very technical and everything, but I'm <laughs> trying to improve. So, so my main goal now is to practice, 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 and try to, to start with ladies first. And I know this local ladies, they like it because I'm a Zumbin instructor and sometimes yeah. I'm giving, um, we give a, a different styles. So sometimes I put a uh, Kizomba music and they like, and they say, ah, yes, yes. I, so I, I, I want to try with them uh, first with ladies. And then if the community wants uh, really the Kizomba, uh, I can teach, I hope to teach men and yeah, women. Yeah. So let's see, <laughs> let's see. Beautiful. But there, there in the, the city that you are, 
Is there a scene of dancing, of social dancing, with salsa or bachata or uh, even, kizomba. even kizomba? But you are saying that no, that yeah. there is nobody teaching. But regarding mm -hmm. dancing in, in couples, you have a scene there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have La Dolce Vita. It's a place uh, for expats, mainly expats. Um, mm -hmm. So there are people all over the world there. So it's like um, a time, a free time for them. It's like the party of Kizomba. They go there and they forget everything, the day, the problems, the issues, everything. So, and uh, that's why I, I enter there. I also um, was having lessons and uh, yes, but he's missing Kizomba. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And <laughs> um, so in somehow, uh, because it's interesting, um, we have this great opportunity of talking with people from several parts of the world that they have different realities in their cities, in their countries regarding the dance. And uh, it's interesting because you make part of this uh, group of people that want to start teaching because it's a kind of, um, how, how do you say that, um, an individual need of mm -hmm. fulfill something that they want that is to dance but there is nobody there to do that so they bring the, the the sleeves up and they decide to create a scene from scratch even if they have no background of teaching dancing or whatever that is not your case because you have other or other styles of, of teaching and um, they want to create something in order that they own they own have the opportunity to dance and to, to put it in practice. It's, is this your goal in order that you can create something, in order that you can be part of something? Yeah, yes. Uh, yes and no. It's it's like, um, you know, uh, I love Kizomba. And like I said, mainly my goal is to teach ladies only. And uh, I, I talked with a lady from, uh, from um, salsa classes the other day. And I said to her, now I'm, I'm taking the training. And, and she said, what? You are doing Kizomba? Oh, I admire you because I, I like it. But, um, you know, here in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, there were two or three uh, editions for festival. Um, and she went one f uh, on Fujaira. And she told me, but Kizomba, I like to see them to da dancing. But it's like a show off. They are competing to show who's the most sexiest. And I said... It's not my, my perspective. Uh, of course, uh, we have different perspective, perspectives. Yeah. And my perspective, it's like salsa. You are there to having fun. It's not to co compete or to show off or to show the best suit or whatever. So yeah. it's to having fun and to forget your problems, your issues and everything, and just be part of a community and to, to be part of something. And she said, yeah. yeah, you are right. Because of this, the videos that I saw in the workshop I attended, I didn't like it. They were so sexy and showing yeah. who's the best dancer and blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay, this is not my idea. So, and she said, okay, I will give it a try. Just let me know when you start and blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay, <laughs> let's see. It's so interesting that yeah. that point that you are referring because for sure it was mainly other styles yeah. inside of the, the like umbrella Kizomba. of the Kizomba. Yeah, Urban I told her that. Yeah. And uh, it's very interesting that comment because usually it's the opposite. Uh, nowadays, a lot of people get into this big community because of these new styles, because of these uh, eye catching movements and eye catching people with good clothes and good bodies. Uh, and even the music, uh, it's different because it's more commercial. It's a lot of versions of hip hop music, RB with a bit of Zomba. So it's interesting because maybe this is cultural, as in, uh, um, in Emirates, in uh, Arabic countries, uh, the mind is not so open to these uh, things of showing the body in a public uh, way. And the people connect more to other styles of, of expression. Uh, and maybe the, the classical way, the native way, it will be something more appreciated because it's not so much so eye-catching regarding the movement and regarding it's it's really yeah, interesting it, that. very interesting very yeah. interesting that yeah. i never thought about this this idea uh of by the local that you are that can influence the taste that you have regarding a specific style of dance this is quite interesting so you mentioned here already some of the whys but when you were thinking about the idea of teaching what, what were these big 
um, difficulties that you thought that you might have to be able to start something. So before you start studying, you for sure you, you plan in your mind, I would like to do this, but I think I will need this, 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 and this. What were these uh, uh, things that you would need? It's the foundation. You need to know the basics for you to progress. So I need to know the basic and how to explain in different ways because we have different people in front of us. So we cannot explain uh, always in the same way. So even if I explain one time, I can explain the second time, but in the different words, they, it will catch the attention of the people in the different ways. So uh, it's, it's this perspective. I, I like to, to, even in fitness, in the, the uh, uh, group classes, I like to attend other uh, instructor classes to see how they explain and what, what are the difference uh, uh, in my classes with them. So I can catch the good things and the bad things. If I see something that I don't like, I say, okay, I can never do this because it doesn't work. It's, it's something wrong. So I like to attend to see the good and the bad things. So my, my main thing for Kizomba, it was to learn the basics, how to um, deliver uh, correctly the things and for them to understand that they are doing the correct thing. That's a very good point and yeah. very re responsible way of thinking. And this is, from my perspective, it's because you have already a background on teaching. So you know how important the communication is and how we as instructors need to adapt to the needs of the students and not the students adapt to this way of speech of the instructor. And that is, it's so good to, to hear that from you and that you have that maturity. And of course, it's due to your background and due to your profession. And so, it's interesting here also because Paula's background comes from fitness. I don't yeah. know if you know that. Uh, yeah, yeah, she yeah, was yeah. An aerobic instructor. <laughs> she was uh, competing also yeah. in aerobics. Yeah. So it's interesting. And when I start teaching, she was already very experienced. And, and it was, I started teaching first with another girl and I was doing my first steps of, uh, on, this, on this world of instruction and pedagogy and methodology. And when we start working together, it was a great input to this experience and the things that you are telling. And sometimes we go to festivals and you are a little bit tired to do the lesson, but we make sure that we attend the lesson even just to watch others. Yeah. In order that you can grab all these small details that you are talking. And it's one of our biggest investments of time in our methodology is to arrange different ways of saying the same things. And that is the moment that we learn a lot with our students. Because when they ask us something, they are placing us in a situation of learning and progression also. And it's, this is amazing. It's when they ask the, the things like, what do you mean with the tap? Tap, just tap. But you need to, to create an explanation, a baby language, as I, I, I always say, in a way that they can understand. Yes. And usually you already notice because you you do also the the kizomba lady styling online mm, i try to 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 give like visual things in a way that that people can understand because it's difficult when it's not in your body to understand things yes and usually the native uh, when we ask how you do this and they say like this <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's for them to explain because it's like a, a person that is a genius to explain something easy for them is is not so easy yes and yeah, I yeah. To, to to explain with baby language in this way it can be nice okay um just to say hi to those that are entering yes. in the meantime and uh thank you for being here if you can please share this live and if you have any question uh, please write it down and we're going to try to to answer because at least for me, I, I was very curious to talk with Anna for a lot of reasons. First of all, because we never met each other live. So I was very curious to, to know more about Anna uh, and because she's in a completely different uh, country regarding culture uh, and, and she's one of our first attendees to our Kizomba teachers training. So she's one online version. She's one of our babies. <laughs> and I, I want I want really to know the feedback of that experience because when we start teaching the, the Kizomba teachers training live, our first group, we were so nervous because it was the first time that we were doing that. We were used to teach instructors, but those that made part of our team. 
So we can give a follow-up weekly. We can could be with them every week, answering their doubts and trying to understand what is working and not, and to correct week after week. And here we had a big responsibility because we're going to be with a group of people from different parts of the world during five days. And we're going to share something that after we will not have the opportunity to see how they will replicate. And But we made already like more than 20 courses since 2013. We develop and we improve our way of communication in that area. Also, we learn by the questions of the students. But this is the first time that we are doing it online. And it's quite challenging. A lot of people already asked us, mainly because of the distance. Uh, we had people traveling to Portugal from Australia, from the USA, from Russia. But there are other people that cannot afford this kind of investment of money and of time. Because there are a lot of people that they cannot stop during one week doing what they are doing in order that they can invest. And this online offer, it's a good chance of people studying. Uh, so during the quarantine, we put in our head, okay, let's do this, let's try it, let's try to create here the best product we can. That's why we decided first to do it in Portuguese, to make sure that we're going to deliver as much as we could. Uh, and we have our first uh, students in this training, so I'm very curious uh, to know what what was... Did, did you finish already the training, the, the entire lessons? Yeah. Good. Yeah. So we are in a good position here to know <laughs> uh, and place our face ready to slap, <laughs> uh, to, to, to learn with you also in the experience. Uh, because for sure you had some expectation. Uh, I want to fulfill these gaps uh, and I'm expecting from these guys to receive this, this and that. So I want to know first, the experience of learning online by videos, if you felt your pain relieved when you found the things like the medicine to heal your pains, uh, what were that, that reliefs that you get? And if in somehow you found more things than you were expecting or you felt that something should be there that was not? It's a lot of questions, but now it's your yeah. time to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can cover all. Um, yeah. So, um, you know, before quarantine, it was very hard to find online trainings. But now you can see a lot of... <laughs> of oh, yeah, yeah. So... Um, I did some in the other areas, in the fitness area, and uh, uh, also I found uh, a lot of um, drawbacks. Um, and in yours, I, I saw a lot of benefits. And uh, I can start by saying that the, um, the music that you are putting there, the history of the, the Kizomba, uh, you have the theoretical and you have the practical practical so we have everything uh, compound there and it's it's very it's very nice the only thing that i think that you could improve yeah. is the videos is the videos <laughs> that you are just showing at the end i'm telling this because uh, I, I was doing yeah because i was doing it alone so i was always seeing the perspective of the men not the woman so okay. i was always doing a uh, you know, in reverse, yeah. I was seeing you yeah. doing the, the things, but because Ricardo was on the back, I was trying to follow, but like lady. So yeah. I was always doing the, the opposite. You are, you, just, are about, you are speaking about that videos that we just showed the combinations. Are exactly. that ones? Yeah, but you just show, I, I, just, I just... That we sorry. have double direction, that we repeat the combination totally twice. Yes, yes you oh. have, but only at the end because it's blocked. I just can go to the next one when you did the first one, and the videos are just um, are just showing us at the end of the training. So I just saw the ladies' version okay, at the okay, end. Okay. I'm understanding. So okay. During like, during the training, was, you know. Okay. <laughs> Let me see if I understand. Good. There is a process. So this is a platform that you have a progression of learning. Correct. Uh, yeah. So I think I can solve that easily. Thank you for that feedback. Um, and after the four models, you have the first bonus where you have the download material. And yeah. in the download material, you receive all the combinations in video, just with music repetition in order that you cannot, you don't need to see the entire okay. lesson to watch. Okay. But you, in the perspective of a follower, you needed to wait the entire models to get this information. So yeah. if in somehow we deliver in these videos to download in each lesson, yeah. it will be exactly. easier to... Okay, that's, that's a great yes. input. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. 
because I was always doing, I was doing the man and then I was doing the lady, but I was thinking, okay, no, this is the man. I was doing with the left. No, you need to do with the right. I was always thinking like this. And I said, come on, why they don't do the both? And then at the end, I saw the videos. Yes. <laughs> Nice, nice. It's a quite uh, um, very nice or very good thing. Uh, I think only in fitness we can do that because I'm very fast also to catch when he's, the, he's doing. Imagine we are giving a, a workshop and we didn't prepare. We are very experienced and we are able to do that. And because he knows that I can catch because we are face to face without being in couple and I'm able to do the, the, the symmetric way. Yes, but I think it's only in fitness that we work so good this that we are able to do it. And it's an amazing thing. Oh, nice. Yeah, because uh, we, we are because we are giving in the mirror, we are facing the people. So we need to do yeah. with our left and they are doing with their right. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's nice. It's our brain. It's like, <laughs> yeah. it's nice. Okay. The, More things, but I don't know if she finished already. Uh, Yo. I finished. I think it's the, the, the thing that uh, you need to improve. Only that, just put after the, the, the model. But the rest, I loved it. I loved it. Everything is perfect. You feel, you feel that for somebody because you know already Kizomba by family connection and by neighbor's connection. But in fact, you never study about that. You never learn it properly. And mm -hmm. do you feel that this format online allow you to receive the tools that you need to construct something even if it is just for yourself you, you consider that you don't want to teach and you want just to go deeper in the the foundation of kizomba do you think that this training it's a good uh, tool for that or it's it, mainly directed for people that want to teach totally totally even, even if i don't want to teach you can see uh, for example, now I'm seeing uh, uh, Kizomba videos on YouTube and I said, okay, this is this step, this is that step. And, you know, it's like, you know more, so you know what they are doing. And I think it's, it's, it's a good thing for you, even if you don't want to teach it just for, your, for, for yourself, it's just to improve. I think it's, it's, it's very, very good. It's good. And in the perspective of the instructor or the future instructor, do you think that you have there all the tools to start immediately after because for those that don't know you you have like a, a, a syllabus with the lesson prepared step by step what to do in lesson number one lesson number two and all the complementary do you think with that you can replicate immediately yes of course you need to adapt to the the public that you have uh, you yeah. cannot just do copy paste because you yeah. will not have the same people that you have there when you, or when you were thinking when you were preparing these things, but yes, you have the the tools to for you to 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 play with it. So depending on the 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 people you have in front, you can put it easier or harder. So it's Beautiful. yeah. It, then it's 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 to you. <laughs> you know, we are we are also doing some online um, uh, for uh, courses training, training as yeah, a student as a student. Uh, of other areas, yes, um, but and we need to be very uh, disciplined. We need to have lots of discipline, yes, because you can do it or not. Yeah, yeah. It's easy to to stop, and you need to be very. You need to want. It's a commitment, yeah, that uh, you need. Do you felt because in this that we in this training that me and Ricardo we are doing, um, sometimes it's not so easy because. We 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 don't we don't stay stopped so long, yeah. It, it, we don't like it. We we are all the time moving and everything, and they stop just listening. It's very hard for us. I need to go up and because my butt it hurts. <laughs> how how it was with you? You you did it like in a straight in a line, in a just woo -woo -woo. or you you need to stop like one hour to or two hours. How it, how it it's was. very interesting. It's very interesting you are doing this this question because your program is is set like you cannot see it uh, in a row. So, for example, I, I attended the the first one, the first class, and I want to do the second immediately. But then the yeah. the, 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 the system says no, it's not allowed. You just can see it uh, the, the after the after. 
next day or some okay. some hours after. Yeah. So I said, okay, I will relax and I will come back later. So. <laughs> Yeah, but, but, but what do you think about that? Because the, we have a system as human beings that there is a point that we stop learning. Uh, and that's the why we, we wanted to, to try that uh, as an experiment. Because we know that there are people that want to dive in and do it immediately. And if they have doubts that they return back. But allowing this curiosity of uh, what it comes next, what, 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 what will be the next that they will give to us? Do you think that it was a good input for your experience as a student online or it was a pain in the ass situation that, damn, I, I want to know immediately? <laughs> yeah, the first video, because they are the easiest one, I said, yes, come on, why not? Why not? Why do I need to wait so long? <laughs> But after, when it starts to complicate it, I use that time to practice. So I practice, I practice, I practice. Okay, now it, it's on again. Let's see the next one. So yes, I think it, it, uh, you gave us a time to to reflect and to try to train. So I think it's not a bad idea. So and allows you I also felt, to rest. I felt that as a student also in the course, and that was my feeling also when I finished the first lesson. That was mainly the presentation, and I was thirsty of of information. Uh, it was a sales course or something like that with a Portuguese guy that is a master on that. And he delivered a lot of good content and I like to listen to him. And when it finished the first, thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow at this time, you can start doing it again. What? <laughs> <laughs> But after I realized that it was a good thing because it made me took the time. And when it finished the lesson to have time to reflect, mm -hmm. to do my drawings, to take my notes, to think about what I, I learned instead of going immediately to the next step, because otherwise it would be just a bunch of information that at the end I would not remember everything. So yeah. sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, it's nice. a good idea. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, in the, with this, when uh, this uh, world pandemic uh, situation passes, what are your plans regarding the Kizoma spread in Abu Dhabi? So I want to do the level two. I'm looking forward for you to launch that. So <laughs> I want to learn more. And uh, like I said before, my main goal now is practice, 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 because I know I'm not an expert. I need to learn a lot. And we are always learning. This is a process. So I'm just a baby now. I want to become a child, bigger, bigger, bigger. And, you know, I want to learn. So I think I want to attend more workshops. I want to keep learning and develop my, my you skills. You have a big advantage because you already teach in gyms yeah. and you teach Zumba lessons. So you have an audience already that is prepared to receive you as a dance instructor and you can test yourself because the fact is when you spend five years in a university studying a certain subject, when you come to the real world, you are not ready. You need to practice and you need to feel the difficulties and you need to learn with those that are on the scene, on the field, in order that you can start becoming a good professional in the subject that you were studying. Teaching dance is exactly the same. So I always advise, even if you don't go immediately to a, a lesson where we will charge money to the people, uh, but we need to have our first experience and to understand what will be our fears, what will be our lower points, our um, best experience. Um, and, and like that, we have material to develop. And usually I advise people that never teach before to try it with one or two friends at home to see how it works. But you have your big advantage yeah. because you can try immediately yeah. to, to apply what you are uh, learning in a situation of people that already know you so you are in somehow in a comfort zone also and test new thing and to see the the reaction because like you you listen for sure in the video till the day of today i don't know how people were paying me to do lessons with me when i start because i was really bad but at that time it was my best and i was doing my best i was not cheating on the people i was really trying my best and that was the thing that allowed me to improve as instructor, to understand what were my, my needs, my difficulties, and being able to pass to a next level of uh, improvement. So 
go for it, girl. Mainly if, if you don't have nobody doing it there, do your first steps yeah. because you will feel an improvement as a dancer when you start teaching. Mainly if you go through foundations because you will force yourself to repeat the foundations and you will force yourself to find ways of explaining, like you were saying, how to do this and that. And you need to test first in your body and you will find the answers by the questions that people do to you. Answers to your body. Even for you, because you are passing through the difficulties, yes, in your body with you to understand, then you will be able, you are, you are going to be more ready to, to pass the information to others because you know, because you, you know how difficult it is to you, yes? And it, it's like for me the same, to understand the movement, I will be able to uh, pass to the people in a good way because it was difficult to me. Then the same uh, uh, with you, then go girl. <laughs> like you cannot say, go girl. <laughs> so I have here one, two, two, more, two more questions. The, uh, this one, I would like to divide you uh, in, uh, in, divide you, no, divide no. the question <laughs> in, two, in two parts. <laughs> Fatality, uh, in two parts. It's about dreams. Mm. What is your big dream? First, you can, talk, you can decide which one you want to talk first. Uh, your big dream as a personal dream, independent of the dance. So what is your big dream? If you have it, I hope you have. <laughs> and second, what is your big dream regarding this of the dancing scene that you might construct something or not? So two big dreams, one like major dream for you, another big dream regarding the dancing community. So my big dream is to open a gym in Portugal, uh, but a lot of taxes every time I start doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to stay here for now. <laughs> and uh, regarding the dance, I would like to incorporate also the dance, the social dance in that gym. Um, and I have a passion for salsa and bachata as well, but kizomba, it's my first passion. <laughs> so, so I would like to, to incorporate the social dance in that gym. But in the meantime, I'm here and I'm trying to do my best <laughs> on you this. Do at least um, post this idea of having a dance partner? It's very hard, you know, here especially, man. Even when I, I, were, I was attending the salsa classes, we were doing in the circle and always a lots of ladies without uh, partners. So we were dancing alone, doing the sequence uh, by our, ourselves. And then he, they rotated. But it's hard, you know, where are the men? <laughs> yeah. but, but it's something that you would like to have or it's something that for you doesn't matter? Uh, like I said before, um, I think I talked with you or with Paul, I don't know. Uh, I would like to have a partner to teach. You know, because it's easier when there are two uh, two people. You know, the lady yes. part and the man. Because also, I was attending the the salsa. It was a man who was giving, and it's 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 hard because it is he was always um, saying the man part, and the, we were okay. We just follow them, but uh, we want to know more about our. You know, yeah. so yeah. yes, uh, I know it's possible, and uh, lots of them they are doing by themselves, but. It's better when you have a couple. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. 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 But just to tell you this, uh, and, and it could look like a, a big sentence, but the fact <laughs> is that makes the difference. First is it's here. You need to create your subconscious uh, conditions in order that you allow yourself to find somebody that will fulfill that need. If you still have in your brain this block that, oh my God, here there are no men that want to dance and this is if you just start creating that reality. Okay, so an advice, try to change that mindset because you'll be surprised how things change in your life when you start thinking differently. Exactly. And maybe you know already this kind of situation. And there is this sentence that I learned like two weeks ago and I'm trying to use it as much as I can. When you want something, uh, you find a way. When you don't want something, you find an excuse. And this is so true because we are masters, we, all the human beings, to find uh, excuses, excuses 
and using the hows, not the hows, the, the whys. And we are master to uh, find whys we cannot do something. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we need to change the question. We need to change the question to the how, how I can do that. Where I need to be in order that I can place myself and the universe will deliver me something. So maybe, now it's difficult because we yeah. are in a situation that we cannot have so much contact, we cannot uh, socialize so much, but this will pass. And it's a true that will pass. I don't know when, but it will pass. So it's just being with attention. We have a system in our brain that block the capacity of... Um, Moving forward. Seeing, yeah. no, 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 of seeing uh, everything. Sir, everything. Because otherwise, we, get, uh, crazy. we will get crazy. The amount of information that we are receiving all the time with audio, with image, with smells, if, if our brain process everything, we got crazy, yeah. completely crazy. So it selects, our brain select the things that we will see. And this selection is made by our interest and by our subconscious and by what we feed our brain. Uh, and, and the best example is that for sure, everybody have this feeling that when you want to buy a new car uh, and you think about, I want to buy this specific brand and this specific model. And the color. Suddenly, and the color. And, the color. Mm -hmm. and suddenly, on the street, you start seeing these cars everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> they always were there. You mm -hmm. never pay attention mm -hmm. to them. So it's a question of instructing our brain to tell, his, uh, to tell him what we want to see. So that's why it's so interesting, this, the capacity of our brain. Uh, and the only guilt is of not watching some things are us. So we need to change this mindset in order that we start paying attention to things that they are around us. I cannot believe that with the amount of people that live in Abu Dhabi or even in your city or even in your street, there will not be a simple soul that will have this interest of creating something about that. And you achieve, you, you, you need to just uh, change because you are in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> you are uh, like in the best place that everybody wants to be to because it's a very comfortable place. We have here you, Helios saying, we need to go there, damn. We need to go there. <laughs> you see? That's you, are, <laughs> yeah, you were able to do. Usually people hear, oh, I want to have a better life. Oh, but they don't do nothing. And you were able to do. Yes, you are. In a, in a position that is the dream of uh, several people, yeah? Lots of people. Then you need you to use... You found a way. You yes. even found an excuse. Yes. It was yeah. difficult in Portugal. Let's go to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> then you need to change that for... I need to, to, to grab a partner. I need to have a partner. Now you need to do the same uh, <clears throat> way of thinking. Not stressing about that, but opening yeah. the possibility. Open the door yeah. to receive. So one last thing, uh, just a message by a perspective of a beautiful girl that is in Abu Dhabi, that comes from Portugal, that traveled to the other side of the world to follow their dreams and to find a way of uh, being possible to live with quality. What is your message to the people that are watching us and the people that will watch us after? So if you love what you do, it's not like a job. It's like you are, you are doing... It's not a job. I don't know how to explain. It's like you are doing something that you like. So I'm doing what I like. Uh, sometimes people are saying, oh, you are always working, blah, blah, blah. And I said, for me, it's not like a work, you know, it's something that I love. So it's not kind of, it's like the air that we breathe or the, the food that we eat. We need to eat every day. So I need to do exercise every day. I need to dance. I need to do something, you know, that it's not seen like a, a job, like a work. So if you love to dance, so go for it. Even if, if you want to attend this training and it's online and you think, okay, no, it's not the same because we are not face to face. They cannot see me. Don't, don't stop on that. Just try to do your best. We can still connect to each other. We have the social media, we have internet, we have everything so we can be connected. So that's the, that's all. <laughs> Thank you very much. Want to say Thank you very much. And it's very nice because I, we don't know each other in person, but it's like I, I know you uh, very well. <laughs> yes, because of the videos, because of the things that we speak and everything is like we are the things work, as you are saying, we, we are not we were not able to 
to or didn't have the opportunity of being together in person but it's like we were already yes yeah. it's like I'm speaking with you it seems that we already know for for so long, long time. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. very <laughs> very inspiring your story thank yes. you very much for thank your you. sharing um, I have your request for those that are watching us <laughs> or for those that will watch us after please share it if you feel that in somehow it touched you and it can help other person because when we listen this kind of talk sometimes we have like a, a, a blink and we have an idea of a way that it was dark and we didn't saw it and by this kind of conversation suddenly get you get some light and some inspiring inspiration and you can go in that direction so thank you very much thank Anna. you Anna can't wait to thank see you, you here. So, <laughs> when you yes. come back to Portugal please visit us and we hope one day we can visit you also in Abu Dhabi. Mwah. Yes, I'll be waiting yeah. for you. <laughs> Bye. Ciao, Anna. <laughs> Bye.